I mean, really think about that. Think about, okay, so I want to take a nap. My body is saying, let's take a nap. My body is saying, I need rest. But unfortunately, we're not Italian. I'm not in Italy. <laughs> and dolce far niente is not the move. At least it wasn't for me earlier. It just didn't seem like an option. But I kept thinking about that scene in that movie. And I kept thinking about like the sweetness of doing nothing. How it even sounded. like. And we live in a society that says we have to go through all of these hoops before we can enjoy ourselves. We live in a society where many of us are obsessed with having... Not only just enough, but more than enough. More than the other person. More than five other people. More than the person across the street. We obsess with... How do you say? We obsess with what is possible. What must be done. And we pretty much commit ourselves to that type of living. Where every day you get up, there's this sense of urgency there's this rat race to be a part of there's these things you have to do there's the mind state you have to have to get the things done and then you have to make sure you're socializing then you have to share these occurrences on social media so people know that you're being active and then you have to call your other active friends and say hey how was you active today and share stories of being active and it's almost as if we have a culture that says rest is not good or um, taking our time is not good enough. Everything has to be instant. Everything has to be rushed and everything has to be like now. But it's such an illusion because every time I think about this saying, dolce far niente, the sweetness of doing nothing, that is a now that I want to be a part of. That is a now that I feel like I can gel with. Nothing and now. (laughs) I mean, that just, that does it for me. Because to live is to work, essentially. You're alive, you have to eat, so you have to provide a way to have food. You need shelter, so you have to provide a way to provide shelter. So rather than looking at these things as, you know, this great task. It's just the, it's just living, essentially. It's just what has to be done to live. And in order to do that appropriately, you want to have a sense of, mm, how do we say, stillness. Because if not, you're going to be frantic. You're going to be Pretty much seeming how I was earlier. I needed to take a nap. My body said let's get some rest. But I just in my mind felt like I could not do nothing. Like nothing? How could I do nothing? There's something to do. I can't just take a nap at 1 p.m. in the afternoon for 20 minutes or an hour. I, I just I couldn't possibly foresee a life where that is productive or good I'm sure there's some self-help book I could be reading maybe I should do some meditation but I'm tired so I already know if I meditate I will fall asleep and when I had that thought oh my goodness the overdrive my brain went into so here I was sitting on my sofa trying to avoid sleep that my body clearly needed but I kept going back to Dolce far niente. And it was like pressing me. So I'm having all these obsessive thoughts about being productive and being busy. But like a stillness, that higher self just kept saying to me, Dolce far niente. You know, the sweetness of doing. You are already. Everything that you do on this realm, on planet Earth, is a manifestation of what's already done in your soul, in your mind, in your imagination. And as the men or men of this planet, 
We manifest it. I like that. That That's just my own little way of putting that. Because we are the men. We are the beings here. So to manifest, it, it, it starts with us. We have to start it. We have to initiate. Again, that's that Tuesday, that Mars energy. We have to start. We have to initiate. We have to go forward. We have to conquer. We're going to manifest this thing. Right? But... All I wanted to do was take a nap. All I really wanted to do was just get some rest. And I cannot even even now thinking about it believe I was fighting myself about that. Absolutely fighting myself. Absolutely feeling like no, no time for rest. Mind you, my house is quiet. My two kittens are just sitting around. They're sleeping. <laughs> I remember that vividly now. I, I'm sitting here obsessing about not sleeping because there's something I could be doing. And I look over at my kids. My, I'm, when I say my kittens are just sprawled out. They're just one. Abigail's on her back just laying out. Raja, he's he's just chilling in a nice little cozy ball. I think he was snoring because the way his body was just just deeply breathing you all even in talking about this right now my body's saying yeah and we still need more rest the sweetness of doing nothing how many of us can say we actually can enjoy that that we can nestle in the bosom of nothingness and be (laughs) fed by the vastness of the nothingness. You know, like, how many of us can actually relax in that mind state? I plan on working on that. I plan on taking more time to rest. Because if my body is tired and my soul is weary, I mean, what else is going to help that but a nap? And I know this. This is not divine or sacred knowledge your body has to rest we charge our cell phones yes we do we even charge our cars whether it's an electric car or by turning it on if it's a you know a regularly a battery charged car we turn it on to charge it so if everything else needs to get rest in order to charge or be charged up via some type of way and for us that is sleeping That is resting, staying hydrated. And these are the ways that our body is primed to be charged up. Definitely want to be hydrated. So you're hydrated. Now you take a nap. Guess what? You wake up refreshed. Your skin is glowing. You have energy. But yeah, I was so... And even as I think about it now, I I just... I think that's so interesting that I was afraid to go to sleep because there was some imaginary force that was charting all my movements throughout the day and had decided and told me already that, no, you do not deserve sleep. You have not done enough for today. And I just almost gave in to that. (laughs) The illusions that come with being alive are vast and numerous. But I think that if you just keep it simple and remember exactly what you are, which is energy, having a human experience, you realize that this body, this flesh, it has needs, it has wants, it has desires. And some of them are hardwired in and some of them we pick up and learn as we go. Sleep is definitely a desire, a need, and a want for this body, for this vessel. Rest is absolutely necessary. So sometimes, I want to encourage you in the same way that I'm going to encourage myself to do nothing. (laughs) Sometimes do nothing. Whatever that means for you. Maybe it means... Literally doing nothing, laying around, laying in the grass, you know, going to the park and just enjoying nature, taking a stroll. Maybe it's doing an activity. 
Maybe it's reading. Maybe it's painting. Whatever your nothingness is, whatever that sweetness that you can get from doing your brand of nothingness, I want to say do it. And definitely do it until you're satisfied. Dolce far niente. The sweetness of doing nothing. Just saying that makes me smile and feel a sense of calmness. It's absolutely crazy to me when I think about how today was and how I fought taking a nap. Who does that? Maybe you do it. I don't know. But I'm very aware now that it's okay to slow down. It's okay to stop. It's okay to take a breath. It's okay to do nothing. It's absolutely perfectly fine to take what we call a mental health day, a personal space day, a I'm doing nothing day. (laughs) As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to schedule another one for tomorrow. (laughs) Catch up on all this rest that my body clearly needs. It's been an active few days and it's finally catching up. So I want to encourage everyone to have a moment to enjoy the sweetness of doing nothing. Thank you all for listening. And I'm hoping that this message shares something with you that touches you and shares with you in your spirit something that you've noticed as well. Again, enjoy yourself. Take a moment to do nothing. And I'll talk with you later. Later.